everyone. My name is Lulu and welcome to my channel. And if you've been here before, as always, welcome back. Today I am uh, videoing a, a subject about I need beauty advice. I need product recommendations. I'm having issues that I can't solve and I've tried and tried and tried. This is also part of a collaboration. I have mentioned it before. I belong to a Facebook group called Ladies Who Collab. The link will be down below and we are all very small, smallish channels. And you know, sometimes asking someone to collab can be a little awkward or you're reaching out or gee, you know, what are my intentions? And so this makes it nice and easy. The collabs are all planned out for the you know next two, three, four months. You choose one of the topics that you like and you say, yeah, I'd like to do this collab. And so there might be two, three, seven, twelve who are doing that collab. It's very well organized and it just makes collabing easy. And plus we post about other things in the group, beauty and stuff. So um, anyone else who is doing this collab with me, their links will be below. And certainly I hope you visit and maybe solve some of their beauty problems. So here I go. I'm going to be looking down at my questions. My first one is one I've been asking forever. Now, first of all, if you're new to my channel, you should know I buy and own a lot of makeup. Why? Because I can. It's what I enjoy. I enjoy a lot of things. I enjoy weekend trips and I enjoy nice cars and shoes and more shoes and more shoes. I enjoy a lot of things and I also enjoy makeup and I buy it because I like it and I buy it because I can. So there we go. So that just clears it right up. So my first problem is my waterline. I have very small eyes and they are very, very hooded. My, my hood actually rests on my lashes. I mean, you can see no lid, none, zero. And uh, so I don't use anything dark under my eye because for me, it closes it up. And I don't use a dark eyeliner on top because I, have, I hardly have any real estate in the lid area as it is. And I try to use a lighter color because at least when I'm looking down or reading or talking or looking at a menu, you see something of an eyelid. This is not the point. The point is I use on my bottom waterline, I use a nude color, a pink color, a yellow color, something to help open up my eye versus a dark liner. All right, this is why I went into the soliloquy about the fact that I own a lot of makeup. These are all nude colored pencils, different brands, Tarte and Benefit and Laura Geller and more Laura Geller and Too Faced and Mally and Rimmel and I mean the list goes on and on and on. Some brands I've never heard of. But if you, my issue is some of them are very hard to put on. They, they will not get into the waterline. Others and this is mostly the issue, don't last beyond an hour or two. Now, the same brand, the same formula in black will last four or five, six hours according to those that I watch. But you buy that same brand in a nude and it's gone in an hour. And this is not life or death. None of these are first, are, you know, these are all, as they say, first world problems. But if you know of one that works for you, and yes, maybe I already own it, but it's worth hearing about that will at least go three hours. I would be happy. I can reapply and I often do reapply after an hour, but you can't do that too many times because pretty soon your waterline is so red, nothing helps. So if you know of something, I prefer a matte rather than a shimmer, but I have shimmers in here. So if you prefer, I mean not, if you know of something I can add to my little pile, that would be great. Um, that A nude, a pink, a yellow, a natural color that I can line my waterline and will stay beyond an hour. And again, if you could give me the exact brand and color name, that would be most helpful. And again, I might already have it, but you never know. So that's my first one. My second thing is, if you know, um, I epilate. So this is what I'm using now. It is, oh, I can't read this. This is really important to tell you. It's an MJoy Imagine. So maybe you can make that out. And I, it's a pretty, I, I don't know, 70 or 80 little tweezy things. And it is electric. I didn't put the cord in, but it is electric. And I need a new one. It's just not grabbing the hairs. What happens is when you epilate for a while, your hair grows back very fine. 
and I've been epilating for years, so really, I, I only have to epilate every few weeks. But the hair is so fine that this really isn't grabbing it anymore, or maybe it's just getting old and dull. But if you epilate, and you have an epilator you like, again, model and brand, uh, because, you know, they're constantly coming out with new ones. And if it's an old one, let me know. Maybe I can go find it on eBay or Amazon or something. But I'm looking for a new epilator for my legs. All right, next thing I'm wondering about is... Um, Ulta brand products. Are there any stars in the Ulta brand? I am always disappointed. Always might be too strong a word, but you know, they're a beauty store. They have incredible brands. And I am always surprised that their own brand is either, you know, doesn't last, is not pigmented doesn't blend, looks cakey, is too powdery, does not sit on the skin well. But if you, because they're always such great prices, and again, I like to own and buy makeup. If you have an Ulta makeup product, again, the color, because I, you know, you can say, oh, there are sh shadows are great. But we all know that the gray can be wonderful, but the purple is always splotchy or etc. So the color and, and what it is that you're using. Are their lipsticks good? Are their lip crayons good? bronzers, any of the foundations, I I just can't find, I can't find a winner in the Ultra brand and it makes me sad because I'm there all the time and I'd love to support them for a number of reasons. So could use any, any products that you love, I would love to hear about. How's their banana powder? Has anybody tried their pressed banana powder? I'm curious, feels like silk when I touch it. All right, eyebrow growth. I use Latisse. I've used the generic Care Prost, and now I am using uh, New Lash, which, whew, man, that's a lot of money. Why did I buy it? Somebody had it on sale, maybe Nordstrom during the, their anniversary sale. Anyway. But none, I always, after I do my lash line, I always add it to my brow. You know, I re-dip or re-drop or whatever, and I add it to my, my eyebrows. Nothing is helping. Um, I'm thinking maybe I'm going to start putting a little Rogaine. Will that help? But if anyone, you know, there's so many um, products that are specifically now made to grow the brows or something. Do any of them actually work? Should I go ahead and do my Rogaine? Has anybody done that? Or castor oil, I've heard, but I've only heard castor oil for the lashes. I don't know if it works on the brows. And who was, oh, uh, Trisha. Trisha was uh, using it on the brows. I'm wondering if it worked for her. So if you're watching this, Trish, let me know, or anyone, let me know if you're using something that is helping the brows grow in. I'm still good, but I can tell they're starting to get sparse. Okay, so I could use advice on that. And um, what I call office appropriate highlighters. Now that doesn't just mean I don't want to go into the office looking like I could land planes, but also you know that office lighting is different than the house or the car. It's um, the lighting where I am is very nice. I mean, it's up lighting versus those harsh fluorescents that go down. And the buildings, especially, well, all the buildings, well, at least around in the Chicago area, the larger buildings have all changed to LED lighting for energy reasons. But again, it's just, it's it's different kind of lighting. And yes, the circumstances are different. And uh, so if you know of office, my very favorites, I will tell you, to me, hands down, Laura Gella French Vanilla, Laura Mercier, uh, the 01 Matte Radiance Highlighter is excellent. Um, oh, I had a list of them. Uh, ambient lighting, hourglass ambient lighting powers are excellent. But I'm just wondering if you know of any others that I would just say office appropriate in terms of professional as well as in terms of office lighting. That would be great. But if you know of anything, um, ambient, oh, Cover FX Moonlight is pretty good too for the office. And uh, Wet n Wild Cabana, Wet n Wild Cabana, some people even use it as a setting powder, kind of a finishing powder, I should say. But that one is also nice for subtle. But if you know of any others, again, because I just like to try new things. So those are my questions. So we're at about 10 minutes. Those are my questions. If you have any advice, any answers, maybe you want to ask a question down below and somebody will read it and help you out with it. Maybe I can help you out with it. Uh, but these are some of the things I'm kind of wondering you know, about and looking for. And uh, so if you have the uh, answers to my questions or product advice, especially the epilator. I really need a new epilator. 
that grabs relatively fine hair. So if you have, if you're just still in the early stages or you still have very thick, coarse hair, if it works for you, it may not work for, you, for me, but if you are someone who has very fine hair and you're using an epilator and it's working, please let me know. All right, everybody. Thanks. You all have a great week. I'm sure that I'll be back soon.